In this video, we're going to quickly recap the role of insulin and then focus on the two types of diabetes. If you're not sure what insulin is, then it's probably best to check out our video on controlling blood glucose levels first. To quickly recap though, insulin is a hormone that our pancreas releases when the concentration of glucose in our bloodstream gets too high. And what insulin does is bind to cells throughout our entire body and tells them to absorb some of that excess glucose and turn it into glycogen. And because this uses up some of the glucose that's in our bloodstream, it helps to bring glucose levels back down to normal. Now, as you said at the beginning, there are two types of diabetes. But the underlying problem in both of them is that patients can't regulate their blood glucose levels properly because somehow the insulin system is all messed up. Type 1 diabetes generally occurs in childhood or teenage years, but the condition itself is lifelong. What happens is that the pancreas for some reason stops producing insulin, or at least it only makes very tiny amounts. This means that the person's blood glucose level can rise really high, which might make them feel ill, and in rare cases even kill them. The main treatment is to inject them with insulin, which is normally done into their abdomen, which is their tummy, or into their thigh. Effectively, if somebody with type 1 diabetes injects insulin after they have a meal, it's the same thing as if their pancreas was releasing it. So it brings down their blood glucose levels before they get too high. Now, the amount of insulin that they need to inject depends on two main things what they've just eaten, and how much exercise they're doing. For example, if they just had a meal that had loads of simple carbohydrates in, which just means that it was quite sugary, then they would have to inject more insulin. And because of this, people with diabetes are generally encouraged not to eat too much sugary food. They're also encouraged to exercise regularly, as our muscles absorb more glucose from the blood when we do exercise. So more exercise would mean they need less insulin. In type 2 diabetes, things are a bit different. It generally happens to older people who have had unhealthy diets for a long time. The problem here is that the person's cells become resistant to insulin, which means they basically don't respond to the insulin anymore, and so their cells won't take in so much glucose from the bloodstream. This means that even though their pancreas might be producing loads of insulin, it doesn't do anything. And so giving insulin as a treatment wouldn't help. There are a few drugs that we can give, but the main line of treatment is a healthy, low-sugar diet and regular exercise. And that's it for diabetes. Just try to remember the differences between the two, and particularly what the problem is and how we treat it. If you haven't heard yet, you can find all of our videos on our website, cognito.org. You'll also find questions, flashcards, exam style questions, and past papers. And we track all of your progress so that you always know what to study next. So sign up for free by clicking here or browse our playlist here on YouTube.